Number one, I have an issue with giving, not just this county administrator, any county administrator, sole responsibility, and you go to the gift of, yeah, of hiring and or firing employees. The problem is that's the whole purpose. There's every two county. reasons. <laughs> One is, if our county administrator can hire and fire anyone he wants to, within the law, without the board consent, that's why the word administrator. You're out of order too. <laughs> then that means, for example, he can hire five, four, three, ten people without the board's approval. That's why he's an administrator. <laughs> you can. In other words, first thing back is saying you can hire and fire with whom you want to. No, no. The, the issue, the issue that I have is. That on shared governance, the board should be there. If someone from the sheriff department could be in there, someone from the commissioner, someone from the treasurer, then someone from the board of personnel committee should sit on there. And that is what I'm saying. I believe it. I, I still stand, stand beside that. And down the road, if we have to amend that personnel policy to reflect what we've done in the past and continue, then we need to do that. Because we don't, we, we don't, we don't want to give sole authority to no administration. You want to amend the policy? That's, that's right. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, we need to have. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, we need to have some checks and balances in the employment area. Mr. Chairman, okay, you need to have some checks and balances with employment. So I don't have, not just you. No full confidence in any ministry <laughs> who does all hiring fine without coming to the board for consent and the board input. I don't know. I don't know. All right, here, here, let me make it easier.